Christ is our victory. Daily Meditations on Great Texts from the Book of Books April 16th The Privilege of Parenthood Lo, children are a heritage of the Lord. Happy is the man that hath his quiver full of them. Psalm 127 verses 3 to 5 in granting the privilege of parenthood to men and women, God designs that they may come to a better understanding of His great love for us, His earthly children. As the hearts of the parents are pained when a child is hurt or suffers illness, so God is grieved when we are sin-sick and far from His love. If our children are disobedient and resentful of our efforts to train them, we can better understand the sorrow that man's waywardness brings to the heart of the Heavenly Father. God has also given parents the responsibility of representing Him to their children. If the government of the home is harsh, severe, and dictatorial, the children may come to look upon God as a cruel judge who watches for opportunity to punish the children of earth. On the other hand, blessed are those children who have learned from their parents the great love, the tender mercy, and the justice of God. The scriptures give many examples to show that children are a sacred trust and that parents may have divine guidance in training them for God's service. Abraham waited long for the fulfillment of God's promise, but he did not then indulge his son. He commanded his household after God's plan. Zacharias and Elizabeth were instructed by an angel that they might know how to train the forerunner of the Messiah. The slave mother in Egypt was granted divine wisdom to care for and educate the greatest legislator the world has ever known. Fathers and mothers, thank God that He has given to you the sacred trust of parenthood. Ask Him for daily guidance that one day you may say to Him, Here am I and the flock Thou hast given me.